Welcome to FreshMind.com. My name is Eric, and I'm going to show you how to make a simple keychain. I'm going to assume that you know the basics of Maya, how to move, rotate, create basic objects, you know about the channel box and stuff. So I'm going to start off by creating a polygon torus. In the channel box, I'm going to adjust the radius to where it looks more like the size of a keychain would be, or a key ring. I'm going to adjust the subdivisions, just give a little more definition. That looks pretty good. I'm going to delete two sections of these faces out. I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to raise it up to where it's not quite touching, but pretty close. Actually, let me shade that so you can see a little better. I'm going to select both of those objects, go up to my mesh menu, and click on Combine. That makes it one object. I'm going to select this upper left edge loop and this bottom left, or upper right edge loop and bottom left edge loop. I'm going to my edit mesh menu, click on the bridge option box, make sure my divisions are on zero, click bridge. Object mode, click fill hole, that fills those two caps in that were uh, missing the faces. I'm going to select the upper left and bottom right edge loops and I'm going to do a bevel. I'm going to adjust the bevel, make it a little smaller, and change the segments to 2. And there is our keychain. And since that was actually really fast, let's go ahead and just create a key for our keychain. Nothing fancy, just something simple, something basic. Um, I'm going to create a polygon cube. Just kind of scale that up a little bit. I'm going to create an edge loop in the center, or pretty close to it. Create one this way, snap it to our grid so it's in the center. I'm going to bevel it. See, three segments. Change the offset. And I'm looking at these uh, faces right here in the center just to get it to just kind of eyeballing and just imagining that being the uh, key part coming out. All right, I'm going to go to Faces. All right, let's make sure I don't have anything else selected. I'm going to extrude that out. Something about like that. I'm going to go to a top view and I'm going to adjust that a little bit. I want this uh, face right there to be more square. So something like that. Alright, I'm going to add some subdivisions. Insert edge loop. Just put an edge loop in there. I'm going to bevel it. And then I'm going to change the segments, bump it up. Ah, uh, 12 is fine. Now I'm going to go top view and just have some fun, just kind of shape this like a key. I'm just trying to be a little creative here. All right, that's good enough for our key. I'll select all of those 
just move those up a little bit. Actually, we can make the other part a little bit smaller. I'm going to insert an edge loop. All right, there is our key. I'm going to select all these top faces and bottom faces. I'm going to extrude. My channel box, I'm going to go over here and look for offset. Bring that in a little bit. Uh, I'm not sure what happened there, but it's no biggie. Let me go to a top view to be easier. I'll just select these. These snap those down. There we go. I select those same faces on top and bottom. I'm going to extrude those in. Let's add a couple of edge loops. One there. So we can create the hole for our keychain to go through. So something about like that. Delete those faces. Shift, right click, append the polygon. And I'm gonna do every other every other face. And now I'm going to do the fill hole, and that fills all the rest of them in. Now the shading is kind of weird. We could uh, select those faces and uh, smooth out the, poly the uh, normals. Or we can just select the whole key, go to normals, soften edge. Channel box, I'm going to change my soft edge angle. Just make it down to 30. And there's our key. And actually I'm just going to cheat and just bevel the whole thing instead of just the, the edges I want to. I'm just going to bevel the whole thing. And then if I do a smooth, there's our key. Let's move it over to our keychain. Actually, I'm going to press the insert button on my keyboard. Move my manipulator to the center of our hole. Insert again. And now I can just snap it to the key. Let's make our key bigger. Rotate. And there we go. Turn my grid off so we can see a little bit better. And there is our keychain with a, a key on there. And that concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.